you um, $180 new, 35 bucks on eBay, and uh, and uh, extra tubing and stuff from Scuba Tools that costs 30 bucks, and and you do run rig a year. Why would you want to spend $100 on that? And people will say, "Well, I'll just I'll just calibrate it until it feels good." I will tell you with a lot of time repairing regulators that I can't do it. I can't tell you what the cracking effort is when I suck on the reg. I wouldn't have called that 1.1 or 1.2. I would have called it something less. But the bigger answer is we can measure it with a bowl of water. Here is the diaphragm. And we'll talk about in, in theory why. And when you put that diaphragm under the water, water's pressure pushes on it. How much does it push on it? Well, it pushes on it by how many min inches underneath the water the regulator goes. Uh, I may actually have to put a right angle fitting on here to make this work. Stand by. A right angle fitting on this, now I can get the hose in there without any trouble. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this regulator, assuming I don't drop the tank, and I'm gonna submerge this in the water. Okay, this is zero. You can't really see it very well uh, from where you are, but uh, actually let's, let's go to the regular view. Okay, this is probably the best way to see where it is in the water. So this is zero. The diaphragm is just at the surface. That's just about the seam between the case and the faceplate. So maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna to begin to drop this into the water. And actually I'm gonna take off my headphones so that I can hear it, half of my headphones. And I'm gonna listen for the regs start to hiss. Now this is just like what happens when you do a giant stride and your reg free flows, but we're gonna wait for the gentle opening of it instead of a full on free flow. So now it's about a quarter of an inch under the water. Now it's about a half an inch under the water, three quarters of an inch, an inch, inch and a quarter. Well, maybe my measurement's off. Oh, okay. So I got it two inches in the water and it didn't hiss. Why didn't it hiss? Because I turned the tank off. All right, let's turn the tank back on and try this again. This is the amateur hour in the scuba repair clinic. All right, we'll try it again. There's zero, quarter, a half, three quarters, about an inch. You can't hear it, but I can hear it. It's sitting there going coming out the mouthpiece. If I go more, you heard the full on free flow, but that's not what I'm really interested in. I'm interested in where the valve opens. The valve opens right there, the top of the S. Well, if I take out my ruler and I measure with a ruler between the seam of the case, which is roughly where the diaphragm is and where the reg started to leak, just above the S in the scuba pro, that distance is one in one and one eighth inches. Well, for the cost of a bowl of water and a ruler, I just measured my cracking effort at 1.1 to 1.2 and saved myself uh, $65 in used toys or $200 in new toys. So that's how we can measure cracking effort uh, for nothing. 